happening everyone back today with another video it's part two of the glow up of the fiesta so we've been very busy luke's been he's applied the second layer of the plastic filler and now has applied a skim of the regular filler just to finish the smoothness of the bumper off just needs a rub down and pretty much will be there obviously 320 all the grills and obviously um we attempted the rear bumper with a 320 this time and we used the thinners to get rid of any loose bits of paint uh, in the crevices so hopefully this time it won't react and then we have rubbed down all the plastics and the air ducts and cut out obviously the lower grill so they can fit and we've just plastic primed them and now we've got the spray putty ready to go so Hopefully once we've spray putted it and it's all set we can start rubbing down the um, fog lights rounds and get set up to actually paint this bumper. We're not going to be doing the front one today. Just for the fact of 2k primer takes ages to dry so we'll be doing the fronts on another day. So the upper and lower grill reacted and it was pretty frustrating so what we did is we ended up just switching the camera off for the day and leaving the ducts to dry and they took forever. I mean we checked them four hours later and they were still tacky so I ended up putting them in the footwell of my car on the way home and baking them with the foot heaters and eventually they did dry and then what I did is I ended up soaking the grills, the upper and lower ones anyway, in thinners for about a day or two. And then I washed all the um, grills off with water and some soap, sanded them down with, I think it was a 240 grit. And now they have been sprayed in plastic primer. They just need a rub down and hopefully the next time you'll see them, they will be painted. But what I'll do is I'll leave a picture of the grill up of it being in thinners and you can see uh thinners is the most efficient way to get paint off we've discovered so if you do find you have a reaction just get yourself a tint like a tub of thinners probably preferably about a five liter one and it should rip the arse off it and allow you to prep a lot easier in the future hey apologies for the noise people are using a tree bloody shredder uh, but today we've got the car jacked up. What we're going to be doing is removing this side skirt, ready to get this wing off so we can replace it. So there's a couple clips obviously behind, obviously where mine have just popped out and stuff, where the wing crush, like they will crush the wing. And then there's uh, a popper there, another, and another. So just the three poppers and then there's like a couple like poppers behind here too so we're just gonna put you on a time lapse and try and just get this skirt off as best as we can without breaking anything Okay, so as you can see, not as bad as what I thought it would be under here. Um, not great though, as you can see, uh, bits of rust, more rust. So this will be going to the body shop. I'll get a whole quarter done because I don't know if you can see, but there is like a little crease in the wing there, or in the rear quarter, sorry, on the arch. So that will be getting done. Um, unfortunately, these are quite seized, so the centre bits for the poppers um, did go up into the car. Uh, I don't think there's any way of getting them out, as you can see there, the hole. I've got a um, kit for these, so I might have to just use the new clips, unfortunately, which I didn't want to do because they're about £20 a set, but needs must, so if it can't, because I need to pull these off anyway for when it goes to the body shop, because I don't trust people. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to probably 
use a new kit and then I probably have to buy another kit which is a pain in the ass which will be near at the time but anyway enough rambling what we've got is a couple bolts here for the wing which look like arse so we're going to try and get them off before we do anything else then we're going to pull the wheel off get the arch lining out open the bonnet unbolt the wing from the top remove the side repeater and hopefully that should be the wing off Okay, so as you can see the liner is now off, pretty simple to do to be fair, nothing too crazy, you just keep this one here, 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 and that's pretty much that. Um, there is this little foam piece in the inner wing to keep it all nice and it hides a little 10 mil there, so if I just... Okay. Yeah, now that folds right out, which is nice. Okay, so what we're going to do now, open a bonnet. For the fun part. Right, we're going to remove one of these struts. Just I'm just going to take it off from probably the top. Unbolt from here. And then... Looks like I've got to take the bonnet hinge off. And then this part of the skull as well, because there's another bit of... Um, there's another bolt underneath it. So this is going to be pretty fun. So I'm just going to put you on time lapse and just get this done, really. Okay, so I've got the bolts off of the bonnet I've just left that under there so we don't do our new windscreening and I've had to remove this trim here uh, as there was a bolt also hiding there so hopefully when I undo this we should be able to get this wing off I might do it off camera because obviously I've got to support the bonnet and that is not going to be fun so let me just See. Okay, and then we've got two more ten mils. But hold on here, that I forgot completely about. Uh, literally, them two there. So one does. I'm just going to pull the headlight out. Uh, get those out and then we should be able to just pull this thing straight off God, I've never known a wing to have so many bolts Okay, well them last two bolts are a bit of a pain because they're quite at a dodgy angle on this one here and But we've got it off so what I'm gonna do is any stupid bits of Clips and crap like this. I'm just gonna take out as best I can and transfer over to the new wing and then Hopefully we'll get this bad boy on. So once I've done this, hopefully you'll see the new wing all fitted up. I'm not going to show you the fitting process. I just want to take my time with this, if I'm honest with you. All right, so we had a bit of a mare putting this back together. Um, just things weren't lining up and had like clearance issues. Bonnet was rubbing and all sorts of crap. Um, managed to get it sorted. These bloody bonnet struts will be the end of me because that's what caused the issues in the first place. But... Um, other than that, it's all back together. Really, really looks good. I'm so pleased with it. I can't wait to get the other side on. We need to make it, but we will be doing a video on this. Just leave it in the comments if you want to see how this wing is made. Here you go. It gives it such a more aggressive look. I mean, the worst we could probably do here is probably add a bit of like mesh or something. Um, I mean, it's far from perfect, but nothing is anyway. But I think for a first sort of go and like a sort of 10 minute think on how we do this, I think it's come out fantastic. Colour match isn't too bad either, to be fair. Could do a bit of flat and polish, but I think it gives it a much more aggressive look down the side of the car rather than putting them stupid vinyl stickers that everyone does.
you can see the other side is just original but it's pretty plain and boring and now we've got like a nice extra body line <clears throat> added to the car it's so much better oh my god i'm so happy i've been wanting like oh mate i don't even, i can't even, can't even speak can't even speak like the other bits as well but the nice part for you guys is the fun don't end here because we're gonna fit some TLC skirts today the reason being is because I felt bad because kind of the footage has been a bit jumpy and hasn't really shown too much so um, let's offer these up to the car and Drew the holes needed and I'm going to probably try and load the car on some blocks because I don't really know what the clearance is of my jack. It's not too great with the skirts as it is anyway. So I just want to be careful rather than absolutely trash these um, skirts because we've had to, I've had them for about seven months I think. We had to repair them anyway because they were fucked and we've just managed to get them painted so I don't really want to ruin these. So. Let me offer one up to the car, let me get some holes drilled and I'll show you exactly what we're doing. Okay, so if you couldn't see too much from what I was doing in the time lapse, all I did was just pop the um, TRC skirt up, and as you can see, you just got to line the holes up and make sure that the ridge sits semi flush against the sill, and obviously it lines up with the back. And then all I did was just got a sharpie, drew the dots of where the holes are originally, and then drilled my holes into the side skirts and then all you do is put your bolt through and then I don't know if you can see but there is a nut and washer at the top and that is literally it so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and do the other side and then we'll show you the finished result okay so it's a few days later uh the camera kept dying and it was just doing my head in the car looks so so good so let's just have a little walk around it is filthy so i do apologize i wanted to film it on the day but it just the camera was not agreeing with me at all it was quite cold too so it just kept killing the battery um but yeah let's just do a little uh walk around show you the wing and the skirts close up a few angles and that will pretty much be it for today's video So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you later.